can't sleep so what are we gonna do hmm might as well make this full review maximum danger levels all right how's everybody doing this evening back again with another video for you guys and gals and tonight what I have for everyone is my full review of the Super Shields screen protector for the Moto G7. All right, so maybe you're new to the channel or maybe you're returning, but if you wanna know how my review process works, typically I shoot my unboxing and first impressions video, then my review process starts, and once I feel like I got a handle on everything that I want to talk about and cover with you guys and gals, then it's full review time. So without further ado, let's jump into this full review of yet another inexpensive uh, accessory for your Moto G7 device. Now, starting off, the first thing I want to talk about with you guys and gals in regards to the screen protector on this device is the overall fit and feel. Now, in regards to the overall fit, as y'all can see here, and I apologize for the lighting, but the fit on the Moto G7 in regards to this finger uh, fingerprint sensor, in regards to the screen protector, is top notch. Everything fits perfectly, and it goes right up to the edge on the top as well as the bottom, as y'all can see right there if i can get the camera to focus sorry about that y'all as you can see right there so straight up to the edges on the top and the bottom so we absolutely have full protection in regards to this screen protector here and probably the only opening is right up here with the camera sensor but because the uh, a lip on the screen protector goes all the way to the top. If this was to take a drop face down, that lip here is going to catch it first before it gets to this opening. So we still do have maximum protection when we talk about the screen protector. So the overall fit of the screen protector on the Motor G7 is top notch. So Super Shields, you guys did a great job in this aspect for the Motor G7. Next, talking about the feel of the screen protector, this screen protector feels absolutely perfect. Honestly, y'all, I can't even tell that I have a screen protector on the device. Everything just flows and it works exactly how it's supposed to. And essentially, this is what you want when you decide to pick up a screen protector for your device. You want to install it and you want to absolutely forget that the screen protector is on your device. So in terms of the overall feel, this screen protector does a great job. All right, now let's keep it moving. The next thing I want to talk about with you guys and gals is the overall installation process and the and, and or the ease of installation. And I got to tell you guys, it couldn't get any more easier than the installation process for this screen protector. Now, there's two things that you can do if you want to figure out how to install the screen protector, right? One, you can go to the packaging once you receive your screen protector. It has a link on the package inside of the package underneath the screen protectors. And it tells you to go to that URL and it has a step-by-step -step video as to how to install the screen protector. And or you can follow the instructions that come in the packaging with your screen protectors. Now in in particular, this was a two-pack set of screen protectors for the Moto G7. Alright, so there is that. But I gotta tell y'all, 
All I had to do was follow my pro tips. So I dried my hands. I washed my hands thoroughly. I dried my hands thoroughly. I turned off all air. So all the fans was off. All the AC was off. And then I just followed these step-by-step -step instructions that came in the package. And this came out perfectly. Now I'll probably put some B-roll in the daytime so y'all can see how this looks. But as I said, I couldn't sleep, so it's time to shoot this review. But this installed pretty much perfectly, and this is what I'm talking about. When I say maximum protection, this is what I'm talking about. Super Shields, y'all did a great job. So the overall ease of installation with this screen protector is top notch, and I had no issues. And y'all know, that's big praise coming from me because your boy is disabled and putting on screen protectors and or things of that nature requires the next level of dexterity that your boy just doesn't have. Sadly, I'm just keeping it 100. When it comes to overall dexterity and balance, I'm severely lacking in those two aspects. But it is what it is. And I'm very happy to report that the overall installation process for this screen protector was top notch so good stuff in that category up next now let's talk about overall case compatibility now i'm very happy to report in this category this screen protector did yet again a great job and i'll have some photos up of this screen protector in all of the cases that i picked up for the moto g7 now, I do believe I have one on hand. Uh, yeah, I got this on hand. But as y'all can see, in regards to the cases, this one fits perfectly. And it doesn't peel the screen protector off. So this is a screen protector case, screen protector friendly case, as are all of the other cases that I picked up for the Moto G7. All right. So in terms of uh, case compatibility, this screen protector is top notch, all right? So really good stuff in that regard. And y'all know your boy is super clumsy, so we're just going to leave this case on for the remainder of this review. Huh, trust me, I, I need it. Y'all saw me almost stumble with the device starting the video. Stumbles are real. Need that maximum protection. Let's leave the case on. But overall, case compatibility is top-notch with this screen protector, and I haven't had any issues. Keep in mind, I can only talk about that aspect in two regards. One, my opinion, and two, based on the cases that I picked up. And so, well, may, uh, so it may not be 100% case friendly but at least with the cases that i picked up this screen protector works no problem so top notch marks in the case compatibility uh category there all right next let's sum up some positives and negatives in the screen protector then we're going to talk about the price and i'm going to give you guys and gals my overall recommendation or two so starting off with the negatives because i feel like i'm starting with the positives a little bit too much so let's start off with the negatives and really there's only one negative that i could think of and it's kind of nitpicky because i already disproved it throughout this video but it is there and some people might say it's a negative and that's the fact that this screen protector does not cover up 100 percent of the device all right so this portion here is open now i already debunked that because the other parts of the screen protector more than uh protect that open portion but it is open and some people may talk about that so it is a negative nonetheless but y'all can see why it's the opening because that's the ir sensor portion of the device that's how you get your motor display to work and as you can see that is coming up with the camera that I'm using to record this video. So you can see there is a sensor in there for your motor display. So I can understand why Super Shields did not cover that portion of the device. 
because if you did, then your modal display and or your ambient sensors might not work, thus taking away from functionality of the device on the whole. But it is a negative nonetheless because that means that we don't have maximum protection on this device. And honestly, that's the only negative that came to mind. This is still uh, stylus friendly, so it does work with my stylus. And the overall responsiveness and touch uh, sensitivity is top notch, as I've already talked about throughout this video. So that does it for the negatives. Now, jumping into the positives, I do like the overall fit and feel. It's top notch and it pretty much covers almost 100% of the device. It feels as though I don't have a screen protector on when I'm using the device. So there is that. You almost, once it's installed, you almost forget it's there. So the overall uh, fit and feel and touch sensitivity is top notch. The overall case compatibility is top notch as well in regards to the cases that I picked up and those are the cases that I can recommend. So really good stuff there. All right. And the overall installation process is extremely easy. So all great positives in those regards when we talk about this tempered glass screen protector. All right. So that pretty much does it for the positives and the negatives. Now let's keep it moving. Now we've reached the end of this video and this is where I want to talk about the price and give you guys and gals my overall final thoughts and a recommendation or two. Now I picked this up via Amazon and I picked it up with a bunch of other screen protectors, uh, about three, and this came in a two pack of tempered glass screen protectors and this is compatible with your Moto G7 which is what y'all see in this video and your Moto G7 Plus. The only difference between the Moto G7 and the Moto G7 Plus is a slightly better camera and a slightly better processor. Other than that everything else is the same. Okay? So it makes sense that this will be compatible for the Moto G7 and the Moto G7 Plus. This screen protector is not compatible for your Moto G7 Power, okay? Just the Moto G7 and the Moto G7 Plus. That being said, I picked this up on Amazon at checkout. I believe it was about $8. It was either $7 or $8. I'll put the screenshot up in post so you guys and gals know exactly what I paid. But for that price, if you guys and gals were wondering, can I recommend that y'all go out there and pick up this tempered glass screen protector for your Moto G7? I would have to say yes, okay? Now, for all the reasons that I've named throughout this video, I'm, I'm trying to get less repetitive. So yes, I can definitely recommend that y'all pick up this tempered glass screen protector from Super Shields. You're definitely going to enjoy it. All right, so that pretty much brings an end to this full review. If you guys and gals enjoyed the video and or found it helpful in any way, shape, form, or fashion, please help your boy out and give the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more content like this, because you never really know what's going to happen when I push record or when I'm going to drop a video, really, I try to make a schedule, but... Ah, uh, six out of ten times, I probably won't stick to that. So you never really know what's going to happen when I got products to review. You never know when videos are going to drop. So if you want to see more content like this, also feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when I publish new videos. That being said, if this video piqued your interest, strange noise came from outside. I'm kind of creeping out now. I do believe I knocked all the doors, right? We good. Man, when you stay in the boonies, man. All right, all right, back on task. Oh, man, got creeped out quick there. All right, so <clears throat> if this video piqued your guys and gals interest and you'd like to know where you can pick up this screen protector for yourself, all the links to where to pick up this screen protector will be available down below in the video description. So as always, if your interest is peaked, down below in the video description should be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals. 
and you should be good to go. All right? That being said, this whole video here this evening was recorded using the rear-facing 12 megapixel camera on the Samsung Galaxy S8 in 2K resolution at 30 frames per second, okay? So please let me know what y'all think of the overall video quality. All the audio for this video this evening was recorded using the Comica V30 Lite shotgun style microphone. So also let me know how y'all feel about the overall audio down below in the comments. Y'all feedback is always greatly appreciated. All right, that being said, I hope everyone has a great evening and I will catch you guys and gals in my next video. Damn, that looks good. Peace.